Okay, well, hey, welcome to Coffee and Tools. Nothing running. Okay, this is the topic today. A uh, number of people have asked me about this right here, this little piece. And the reason they've asked is because it's kind of hard to install this thing because you've got an SD card uh, micro over here, you've got this great big one over here, and you've got a length of cable that runs through here, and two screws that, of course, hold this together on the box. Plus, I have the USB uh, open here as well if I need to use it for the port. So today, I think we'll uh, let's tackle let's tackle that and uh, see how it's done. All right, when we when we come back. And back by popular demand, another answer to the almighty question, how do you do it? Uh, in this case, we're talking about uh, this little accessory that uh, people have put on the internet uh, at uh, Thingiverse. And you can add this uh, piece here. Uh, let's see, it goes like that <laughs> on the side of your control box for your CR10. And the problem is, well, first you start with that and then you look at this thing which is going to be your SD card adapter and you realize of course you've got way too much cable to deal with so I'm going to show you how this would be assembled uh, first thing is of course ordering the parts which uh, I think even on uh, let's see if we can do this right all right this is flat and this is uh, concaved That's, does that word work for you and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this flat side down, I believe. Let's try that and just see how that fits in. There we go. And that, yep, that fits in real nice and tight. But the problem is you have all this. You know, your plug is right here. So, whoopee. Let's have a look and see what we're going to do. So, the first thing you can do is take the cable and just sort of compile it up. And you're going to make a real nice little pile out of it like this. And you're going to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth until you eat up all the cable. And it looks, it's kind of frustrating first time around, I guess, when you do it. So, you know, if, if anything, grab an elastic band like that one right there. And you just sort of, you know, whoops. Yeah. Just see how easy that was, man. And, <laughs> and come up here a little bit, you know, twist the cable. Don't be too scared of it a little bit. It's it's really, you know, ribbon cable is actually pretty robust. It's really not that bad. You can put some you can put some serious bends in a ribbon, ribbon cable and flatten it out kind of thing to eat it up. But that's, I think, where a lot of people choke is uh, I think they realize that, you know, this is wire, it's ribbon cable, it has a lot of connections in there. So what you're going to do is, of course, take the band, like an elastic band if you want. I don't think I, I can't remember whether I used an elastic band in my last project or not. And, of course, may have to double the elastic band up a few times before you finally get get to where you want to be but like this and there we got elastic band and that's going to help kind of contain it a little bit in here and then eventually okay now you now you're ready so now when you come up to the unit uh, this is going to be plugging into where your SD card is your slot like this and again you can you know turn it and then you're going to pr press this up against the side Put your two screws back in, and this will all be held flat against the machine like this. So you can see that's like that's how to do it. I mean, it's it's yeah, it's aggravating, it's a pain in the butt, but uh, the results are so worth it to have a nice full size SD card uh, for like you know CR10 machine, and you just throw an SD card in there. Now this is the other beauty of this thing is these come in and they have that nice you know lock in there, so you can get your SD card in and then you can uh, get your uh, G code loaded up to your uh, printer. So this week this I would do a quick one and just show you what's going on here with this. And hey, again, please subscribe and thanks for watching. We are now 33 people away from uh, I guess the next level of YouTube or whatever. Hopefully we're going to make it. Um, I'd really like to see that. I think that would be pretty amazing and it would probably change the channel a lot. Got another situation here where we got to separate tools and 3D printers, but uh, we'll see how we're going to deal with that down the road. So this was from um, Amazon Prime, I believe. This, of course, was made on the CR10 off of the Thingiverse. Uh, this is not the one I'm using. The one I'm using actually has the SD card slots in here, and it has the hole over here for the uh, for the USB, uh, as well as the you know for the uh, SD card. So 
I did like the other design better, so I went ahead and uh, made a second one which had more features to it that I did like. In fact, this one came a little rough, to tell you the truth. But I kept it aside as a, you know, one of those uh, I did at one time things. So there you go. And thanks always for watching Coffee and Tools. Bye.